Hi everyone, tech geeks and network enthusiasts. Today we are going to do something really out of the ordinary. Have you ever thought about sharing your super fast internet connection with your neighbors or even with your friends who live in the building across the street? Well, with the ASUS arsenal I have here, we're about to find out if that's even possible. We'll be using the powerful ROG Rapture GTBE 900000 as our base and then the fantastic Zen Wi-Fi BT10 and BD4 to extend the network. The goal? To create a wireless network that spans, well, you'll see. Stay with me to find out if this madness will work and maybe, who knows, you might be even able to create a wireless network with your friends. Also, thank you ASUS for lending us these fantastic devices. First of all, let me introduce the beating heart of this operation, my 10 gig connection. Yes, you heard that right. I have a 10 gigabit connection at home. And to handle all that bandwidth, I have a pretty nice home lab. Rack, server, 10 gigabit switch, NAS for all my data, and a firewall to keep everything secure when I finish to set it up. Now the idea is this. We'll use the monster ROG Rapture as the main router directly connected to my modem. Then we'll place the two Zen Wi-Fi BT10s in strategic points around the house to create a super powerful mesh network. And finally, the two Zen Wi-Fi BD4s will be our bridges to the outside. But before we embark on this adventure, let's do a test in the house to see how these little gems perform. Okay, first test. I've positioned the Zen Wi-Fi BT10s to cover the entire house. As you can see, even in the furthest point from the main router, the speed is impressive. ASUS Mesh technology really does a great job of keeping the signal stable and strong, but now it's time to up the ante. And this takes us in front of the real first test. I am going to the building next door, I'm bringing the Zen Wi-Fi BD4, placing it in a window with clear unobstructed view, of course, towards my house. Ready for the first test? Let's go inside the building in front of my house. It works, but glass impacts performance, so you'll have to open the windows. And then let's go one floor up and set the BD4. I literally had weeks to do this, and I chose the rainy day. This is not a good idea. Do not do this if you want to waterproof your router, okay? And the results aren't that bad at all. And now the final challenge. We are 50 to 60 meters away in another apartment, in another building. Hey! I've positioned the last Zen Wi-Fi BD4, again with the utmost attention to the line of sight. Remember, this is crucial to the success of this connection. Fingers crossed and... Okay, test number two at my friend's house. Now I'm gonna show you how far we are and also we'll start setting things up. Let's go. So we are connected to my house with no access point in between. Let's try a speed test. Well, let's connect the DB4 to the power and see if we can uh, connect to my house. Power it on and... Now we wait. We are connected to the access point here at my friend's. Full signal and uh, we can start some testing. You seen uh, point to point and we had a direct view to my apartment. So now it's time to go inside the apartment and see if it's really connected to the bridge or we're faking it. We're not, but we want to prove it to you. Okay, and we are connected. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's over there, outside the window, 60 meters from here. And to put these numbers into perspective, my friend could watch Netflix 1080p while connected to my Wi-Fi and don't pay anything except for power. It's pretty neat. It even works in 4K, no problem. Well, I am impressed. Sure, guys, the speed is not what I have at home, but we managed to connect two apartments 50 to 60 meters apart using only Wi-Fi. And now, to be honest, 
this is not a system I would recommend for everyday use. There are too many variables at play, interference, weather condition, not to mention that this might be kind of a dumb idea to start with, but as an experiment, it was fun. And it shows how powerful today wireless technology really is. And that's it guys, a crazy experiment, but one that showed us the potential and limitations of Wi-Fi. If you have any questions, comment, or even crazier idea, write them below. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. See ya! Man, this was hard to do in English. I am going to get chewed.